On today's video, we're going to talk about the trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias, or the TACs. So the TACs are a subfamily of headaches that usually feature throbbing or stabbing pain in a periorbital distribution. These headaches tend to be side-locked, so they tend to occur on one side of the face or the head, and they always tend to stay, stay in that same side. And with all of the tacks that we're about to talk about, there should be some degree of autonomic symptoms, which earns them their name. So examples of this are lacrimation, conjunctival injection, ptosis, meiosis, rhinorrhea, or nasal congestion. There are five main types of tacks, and we're going to talk about each of these in detail. The first type, and probably the most common tack, is the cluster headache. So the cluster headache tends to disproportionately affect men in their second or third decade of life. It is the most painful headache, which has earned it the name of suicide headache, with a very characteristic superorbital frontal distribution. Interestingly, this headache is seasonal. Uh, it tends to be most common in the fall, least common in the winter, and there are some working hypotheses around uh, light exposure that might explain why we see this cyclical trend. These attacks tend to last about 15 to 180 minutes at a time, and they can occur anywhere from every other day to eight times per day during a seasonal flare. The diagnosis is made clinically, so it requires no investigations or testing. One very specific finding you should pay attention to in history is whether the headache is relieved by pacing. This is fairly specific to the cluster headache, since as you likely recall, um, other headaches are either, either unaffected by movement, like tension headaches, or are significantly worsened by movement, like migraines. Treatment uh, varies based on what goal you're trying to achieve. So if you're looking for acute abortive treatment, you can opt for high flow O2. Uh, several of these patients actually keep O2 in their home. You can also use subcutaneous or intranasal tryptans. For long-term preventative treatment, you would opt for verapamil or lithium. There's also some evidence for topiramate. And for refractory cases, you could consider referral for vagal nerve stimulation. Paroxysmal hemicrania is a unilateral periorbital or temporal headache that is also side-locked. Attacks tend to last 2 to 30 minutes and occur up to 5 times per day. The diagnosis here is also clinical, but one diagnostic criterion is that you need a positive response to an endomethacin trial. You can start at about 75 milligrams and work yourself up to 150 milligrams PO every day before you start calling the trial negative. Treatment would be long-term endomethacin treatment or an alternative NSAID as listed here. Always remember that with long-term NSAID treatment, it is prudent to give GI protection. And there are currently some other treatments under investigation that hopefully we can talk about in the future. Hemicrania continua is very similar to paroxysmal hemicrania. This is also a unilateral periorbital or temporal headache and always on the same side. However, this is a chronic daily headache. So where with paroxysmal hemicrania, your symptoms should resolve between flares, hemicrania continua tends to always have some degree of background pain, but it can have exacerbations on top of this background pain. Same thing, you should have a positive response to endomethacin. Um, hemicrania continua and paroxysmal hemicrania are the two headaches that require endomethacin as part of their diagnostic criteria. Long-term treatment is very similar and very similarly, other treatments are also under investigation. Lastly, there is Sunct and Suna. These two headaches are commonly talked about together since they tend to be very similar, with the exception that Sunct is very specific about which autonomic symptoms you have. So remember that with all of these headaches in the, the TAC criteria, in the TAC group, you should have some degree of autonomic symptoms. Well, the Sunct is very specific and needs conjunctival injection and tearing to make your diagnosis. This is once again periorbital temporal distribution, but no seasonal clustering. And these attacks last only second at a time, but they are the most frequent types of headaches, and their attacks can be up to hundreds of times per day. So you can imagine this is quite debilitating. Treatment, um, usually the IV lidocaine and methylpred is rarely used just because the episodes are so short. Uh, so often acute abortive treatment is um, just expensive and not really doesn't really work. Preventive treatment uh, is either lamotrigine or topiramate. And interestingly, in a sancta and a suna, you may want to consider imaging 
just to ensure that you have no trigeminal nerve compression that may be causing it.